This is the Regenerative Medicine and Technologies Program, the RMAT program. The RMAT program is now approved for the PhD program and shortly is to be expected to be approved for a MS program. In this, we are trying to select a class of students where you would have clinicians, engineers, biologists, perhaps people specializing in ethics and business would all be in the same class where people can take the relevant parts of different disciplines and bring them to regenerative medicine such that this field of science, this field of industry can move forward and we would have the opportunity to define that. Regenerative medicine is that emergent branch of medicine that helps regenerate tissue and organ function that has been lost by accident or trauma or for example because of some disease or simply because of aging. That loss that was incurred because of these events can be compensated within the body by the sciences of regenerative medicine. The breadth of knowledge that it scans and the ability to create something that's unique to your interest is quite high because we go from the most fundamental basic science to applied research, so putting it in a patient, to the regulatory and the business applications of developing technology and getting them to market. So the scope of what you could learn and what you could put forth as your plan of study is infinite. Just as the training paths are infinite, the possible career paths are really wide and varied. So we're really talking about 21st century biomedical skills that range from wet lab to clinical application, to clinical trials, to regulatory, to entrepreneurial, to how do I do a startup and, and get this product to market. All of those things are potentials. This is, as far as I know, the sixth program of its type in the country. Of those six programs, this is only the second that I know of, which has a tight industry connection, meaning that the focus on workforce development, the focus on meeting the needs of the industry and the economy around us. There will be an economy of the future, and that economy will be heavily knowledge-based, technology-based, and skills-based. Indiana is a wonderful home to develop that future economy. And here, academia, industry, and government are all working hand in glove to make sure that future is possible for our next generations. So Indianapolis is the 18th largest city in the U.S., which I think people would not know. I know having moved here, I was very naive about what was here. We have professional sports, we have the, the Pacers, we have the Colts, we have wonderful museums, wonderful museums, botanical gardens, zoos. Downtown life is very pedestrian friendly. It's very vibrant. Indianapolis is fairly diverse. It's a large metropolitan city. I mean, people don't think of it that way. And being in Indiana, we are fortunate to have over a dozen major players in regenerative medicine on the industry side within Indiana. So that would be a key goal to support those industries. But as we do that, we would also prepare students to support industry throughout the country, throughout the world. And because you have this multi-track path of perhaps being an academician, as we typically become once we do PhD, or also participating in defining the future of this regenerative medicine industry, those are some of the unique opportunities that these programs would provide. Just by practicing medicine, yes, you have impact. Or just by doing science, you, yes, you have impact. But how much impact? And are you responsible for moving the field forward? The, the work that's gonna be done here is gonna move the field forward. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for just knowledge for the sake of knowledge. We wanna make big, significant impact in patient care and really be the pioneer in the, in the country for this kind of research.